a nice quick and easy but hopefully useful tutorial today on grid lines. Let me show you how to use them. To use these features you'll need to download the latest film order version 13.3. Link in the description below. I'm John and this is Fun With Film Order. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. So I've got my piece of footage with four pieces of text on and I want to align each piece of text in the four corners. Now if I want to do that really neatly I can use grid lines but before I show you that let me show you how I would do it before grid lines was available. I'd literally just click and drag it and you know drag it to where I thought it was in the right place and the same with this one and just basically dragging and dropping it on the actual footage. Now I know you do get lines there but it's still not in a perfect position it could be anywhere so for example you know they're not all lined up so let me just go back to the way they were now what we can use is something called grid lines and the way we do that is if we right click anywhere within the preview window and you can see a new option there called ruler click on there that brings up a ruler on the top and the side and we now also have options if we right click to add guides and we can only do that once ruler is activated so click on guides and let's add a guide you can choose your color of the guide I'll change that to pink for that one because it's a different color to most of the other stuff in the footage we can have a vertical direction or horizontal I'll leave it vertical and you can change the position of where it's going to be the actual width of the footage is 1920 so say if I just took it into around about 100 to begin with you can just drag your mouse across and that'll change it or you can actually just type it in as well 100 and click OK let's see what that does okay there's a there's a grid line there let's create another one so right click again add guide I'll leave it a pink and I'll change this to let's say 750 and we'll do this horizontal so click OK again and there's the other grid line or say you wanted something like five grid line sections within the video then you'd have to work out what those grid line values would be now once they're on the footage we can actually move them around just by clicking and holding them which is really useful and this number here is the number of pixels of where your grid line is so this footage is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high so it's 972 pixels from the top and I'll add more grid lines on this side we'll just right click guides add a guide leave it a pink I'll keep this one vertical I'll just move it in a bit 200 and now I can drag and move that across wherever I want it to be I'll leave it about there I'll create one more so right click anywhere choose guide add a guide leave it a pink this time it's going to be horizontal and I'll just bring it in and leave it about there I'm going to move that one in slightly so now what we can do is when we place our text up here we can make sure that it is actually going to line up perfectly so there we go now we can actually hide those just to see what it looks like right click again guides hide guides and there we go that's how you use the new grid line function you can also lock these lines in place so let's get the grid lines back up again right click guides show guides and now we can lock them in place if we're happy that we want them to stay there we can right click guides and lock guide and what will happen now is you'll see I can't drag them now so they're locked in place so like I said a quick simple easy tutorial on how to use grid lines and this can be used for text it can be used for footage photographs over anything at all it's really useful to line them up in your video it just makes it look that much more professional and the grid lines aren't shown when you export your video please leave any comments you may have below and don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell I really do appreciate it as always thanks for watching now go have some fun